trying hard, but you want to be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, I'm going to be here till the end. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to. Welcome again, Scott Pollard here. Yes, you can see I have the fabulous little Beta 95X V3 here. Uh, why is this on the workbench with some things hanging from it? Well, that's because I have broken it out again and I'm going to be flying it with a new Beta FP V ELRS uh, Lite RX. This is the 2.4 gig uh, flat antenna and it is the latest version of uh, this receiver uh, there was a version 1.0 which was a little bit buggy this is the all new version 1.1 believe you me it is tiny i'll put it on the scales in a minute um yeah check out my links below and while you're there check out all the cool elrs gear that they have so what we're going to do is install it into the 95x and we're going to do a range test now do a range test we need something to measure range so what I have been fiddling around with is I have been installing a M8 GPS which I'm going to sit on top of one of these motors here so we can get a true range test and we can get some stats and see how far this little tiny flat antenna receiver will take us before we fail safe I'll install the GPS let's put our receiver on I'll tell you guys how to install that as well and then we're going to go out in the field and fly it with our 1 watt ELRS 2.4 gig transmitter and it's going to be attached to our radio master they're talking about 500 meters of range for this little tiny receiver now, the beauty of this is I know some people are saying that what's the point of having a ELRS that travels for 500 meters well mainly because it's so tiny you know you can put it in very small whoops and if you want to travel more than 500 meters with one of these then knock yourself out <laughs> but we're talking about mainly for penetration and uh, yeah for really really clear signal without any interruptions in the package in case you're wondering guys you get your little receiver uh, you get some wires and a couple of heat shrink pads which is really good okay let's put it on the scales and find out exactly how light this thing really is there you go 0.49 of a gram <laughs> which is pretty much next to nothing so as you can see the applications for this for your small whoops and small quads uh, is endless so to install it guys this is a stock 405 all-in-one board pretty simple to install guys on this 405 flight controller the all-in-one here for the 95x has a designated plug for us to use pretty simple there's an rx tx 5 volt and ground I'll leave a picture on the screen there to show you guys exactly uh, where those wires link up to but it is very simple to install. Put it all back together, bind it to our radio, test out our GPS, make sure our fail safes are set properly and let's go to a field test okay simply a matter of powering this receiver on and off three times quickly until it flashes or the blue led blinks twice and we are good to go one two three and power it up and you can see it's flashing two quick flashes then it pauses and that means we're in binding mode let's get our TX into bind mode, select bind mode, press to send bind request. And we can see now there is a solid blue light, which means we can now go back and back 
and if we look on the radio we have some telemetry here no GPS fix because the GPS is also wired up and looks like we are bound and good to go simple as that guys and to test it we should have telemetry, telemetry lost. lost thank you pretty simple and straightforward back together again I have mounted the M8 GPS just above the front left motor here uh, the receiver is underneath here. The beauty about this is, as you can see, there's <laughs> no antenna. It's a flat antenna. Failsafe setup. Uh, I've mainly put the GPS on so we can see exactly how far this goes. So I will fly this out past the 500 metre recommended range. And we'll see under conditions I've got with the gear that I have. We'll see how far she travels, which is going to be really interesting. Let's head out in the field. And let's have a fly. First of all, though... Better make sure she works. Okay. GPS fix. GPS fix. Uh, ready works fine. Uh, receiver installed nicely. Firmware upgraded. GPS fitted. Time to take it out in the field and see how far this little light RX is going to take us. Quick trip to the field. Okay, let's take this 95X out and see how the new receiver version 1.1 beta FPV flat antenna, new and improved. Let's see how far the version 1.1 goes. I'm estimating, um, look, it depends on the quad using. I've got a 4S a 450 on the 95X here. It's also carrying the Firefly X light. So I'm not too sure how far I can go a little bit breezy up top there but I'm reckoning this will do around a kilometer no problem at all let's get the GPS going and let's take it for a fly and see how this ELRS little itty bitty tiny receiver performs uh, I think it's gonna be pretty good though okay let's go Excellent. 16 satellites let's take this ELRS light receiver for a quick rangey and let's see how fast he goes like I said this is the version 1.1 latest firmware has been uh, updated I will do an update a firmware update video for you guys next but today we've spent so long on the workbench I'm just gonna fly this thing in we're going to see how far we can go. 170 meters so far. LQ Fort 100. DB is looking good. I will take along this track. As I said, it is a little bit windy here. So I'm going to struggle coming back because I'm uh, shoveling with the wind at the moment. How's our altitude? Let's head up a little bit. So 450 meters from home. I need to be careful of my battery power. It's going down real quick. All right, let's see if we can just um, go for a quick scoot <laughs> around seven, eight hundred meters. I think I'm going to cook this battery. Excellent. That's uh, seven hundred meters, no problem at all. I'm not going to have enough power to come back again so what I'm going to do oh yeah look at that I'm really pushing the stick forward now uh oh could be in trouble here guys <laughs> so, um, let's go down a little bit on the plus side the receiver works an absolute treat DB is excellent LQ is excellent however uh, yeah my batteries aren't all that excellent <laughs> I'm gonna come back and put another battery in. Hopefully I'll make it. 18 satellites. No problem at all. I am flying a little bit low. Have, uh, that building. Actually I might go near that path there. Go near that path uh, in case I do ditch it. 350 milliwatts on this 95X. Oh, 
I can hear it. Ten points. <laughs> Definitely cooking my battery. Okay, ten point uh, five volts. All right, let's get back over to home. Bunch of chewy. Let's get another battery in. Okay, let's take off straight away, see how far we go on this LiPo pack. Like I said, there is a bit of wind, so I do struggle coming home. Yeah, if you're looking for a ERS solution for your micros, or even larger quads, um, yeah, this this uh, light receiver is fantastic. Beat FPV ELRS. Link is down below, folks. Okay, let's take a gentle, slow cruise. LQ's good, DB's good. I want to see if I can push that one kilometer mark, which would be fantastic with this, <laughs> with this little tiny flat antenna receiver, let me tell you. 600 meters. My VTX, VTX will probably fail before my receiver does, I think. 700. Eight hundred. I'm near the road now. I don't actually want to go over the road. Oh, stop it. Okay. Now I'm going over water. That's a kilometre, folks. I'm not going any further. Could have been a mistake. may need to go for a drive guys because I don't think I'm going to get back on this there is a bit of wind and I'm having a heck of a lot of trouble okay I'm just by the big shed seem to be uh, yep I'm getting low on power now All right, mind I'm gonna to to find somewhere to ditch it I think I'm gonna make it back oh, things you do for range tests hey Okay, big shed, big row of trees. I know there's a pathway over here. Let's see if I can get to the path. Okay, edge of the path. I'm just flying as well as I can without losing BTX, guys, so I don't uh, cop the wind so much. Let's get away from these trees. I'm certainly going to cook this battery. I'm getting there. <laughs> Goodness me. Okay. I can breathe again. Even though uh, my battery's knackered. Uh, well over a kilometre, folks. Wowzers. Yeah, a bit of a battery test at the same time. You can see it's uh, much easier to fly now. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm out of the wind, goodness me. Awesome. There we go, folks. You can see, oh, let me just pull this out. That's where I've mounted the flat antenna version 1.1 ELRS receiver. Really, really nice. Uh, I just flew over a kilometre of that. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, no dropouts. 
DB was excellent. It wasn't even looking like I was losing telemetry. So uh, yeah, I've cooked this battery, but not to worry. I'd rather cook the battery than lose the quad. Any questions about the receiver, folks, or anything else I have here, let me know. In my next video, I'll be doing a... I'll let you guys know how you do a firmware upgrade, should you need to. Check out Beta FPV website for this new receiver here. As I said, uh, version 1.1 out now, guys. It's literally been released today, at the time I released this video. So jump on those links below. Have yourself a time. And as always, guys, thanks for stopping by. Much appreciated. See you guys in the sky again real soon. Take it easy. Bye for now. Thank you.